Oh my god, have I done it? Have I done it? Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so sick. Oh my god. I cannot believe it. What's happening guys? Welcome to the most exciting video I've made so far. Some of you might already know I won a $100,000 high stakes package to Vietnam recently. You may have seen some of the satellites running on ACR. They also had a promotion where three of the pros won a 100k package and one of the stormers won one. So there was 42 stormers battling it out over 100k package. So in this video, I'm going to explain what the challenges were, show some of the highlights and towards the end, I'm going to explain what I'm planning to play out there as well as what I'm going to give away way to you guys so sit back and enjoy because this one's a fucking wild one so the first challenge was one that i did off stream it was a series of mtts for the stormers where you would get points if you final table so if you came in the top eight you would get points first got more points than second etc etc and at the end the points were tallied and you'd get on a leaderboard to get points within the whole challenge if that makes sense so i think i final tabled the first mtt the second one that was running i came second so i put myself in a good position and after the two weeks were up i came second overall on the leaderboard and the standings were as follows. So the second challenge was the rat hole challenge. The idea being to amass the biggest stack at the no rat hole tables by the end of the week. If you don't know what the no rat hole tables are, you basically sit with a maximum of 10 big blinds. But if you leave the table and come back within seven days within the week, you have to sit with the stack that you left with. So I you cannot rat hole. The rules were that you can only play one table at a time. You could try and build multiple stacks on different tables if you wanted, but only your biggest stack counted, so the stacks wouldn't stack on top of each other. All the sessions had to be streamed, and the top five are awarded points. First got 50 points, next got 40 points, third got 30, up until fifth we got 10. Lines were 5 cent and 10 cent. Obviously, if you go any higher, you just end up dusting it. And you can only buy in for 10 big blinds, obviously, which is $1. So the majority of the first day or two was just me banging in any two cards, just trying to like build any kind of playable stack. So the VODs are still up for all of the no rat hole days, but there weren't really too many interesting hands. We did win a fun one against Stokes. It was just banging in 200 big blinds with any two pre. And we had a fucking joke one against Oilergast. If you fold, just show your cards. Like, it's going to look really weird if you fold here, by the way, to an all-in. Try and slow roll me with fucking a nine or pocket twos. Is he trying to slow roll me here? What's going on? God, that was fucking glorious. So the challenge ran for seven days from Monday to Monday. And on the Sunday, I'd got over a thousand big blinds with only like half a day to go. So at this point, I was sat in second, I think, behind only Travis. So when Monday came around, instead of trying to gain more chips on the table, I decided to play a different table with a smaller stack buying in, obviously, for the 10 big blinds where some of the other stormers were. The idea here was basically just tank the shit out of every hand to try and make it more difficult for the rest of them to build a bigger stack than the one that I already had. This way I can also keep an eye on stacks and check if anyone was getting close to it. I think I had 1100 big blinds, something like that at the time. And then if they were, I could react accordingly. I could go and play on the other table and try and get more chips. So the other storm has been doing a similar thing. So I know two of them. I know DMAC, I think, and Travis had stacks locked up on other tables. And so they would play on a separate table with a smaller stack and try and beat the other stormers so they wouldn't be risking the stack that they've already built. Basically just a lot of shit housery going on, but it's obviously the highest EV play. And when you consider you're playing for a 100k package, like you'd expect, you know, this kind of shit housery as long as it's ethical and within the rules, which it was because like I said, you know, the rules were that we can play as many tables as we want, but you can only play one table at a time and it's only your biggest stack that gets counted. So yeah, for most of the day, I was just playing on a separate table and just taking my time with decisions and i'll let you see how the rest of it plays out now i, I basically b humps i don't need anything to happen i need to i've got 1200 big blinds if i'm in second i'm okay with it ideally i just finish above dmac but it might, might be worth me going over to the other table to just try and very quickly win 220 big blinds just to get the lead but the problem with that is as travis figured out that i can't really risk a lot of chips so if I raise against somebody like Scrim, he just three-bat shoves and I fold range. I fold aces. 
There's no like secret stacks, is there? Somebody with like fucking a thousand big lines, right? We've got 13 minutes. I'm gonna have to get a calculator out to do maths. Does a calculator count as RTA, boys? <laughs> uh, do I wanna shove or do I wanna allow somebody else in? I guess we call. That's six, seven, half. Go on, get there. Boom, no jack. Nice. You're saying there's a chance, boys. You're saying there's a chance. Scrim's the only one I can't stack off to, Perry. I'm going to stack off to Greenthal, though, with 200. There's only eight minutes left. Maybe I should have done this earlier. He's got a really annoying stack, Scrim. If he had 250, we can shove. 25 big blinds to go, son. Oh, my God. Uh, just let me just double check this. 1100. Yes, I'm still 200. Oh, my God. Hold. No jack. No queen. There's a fucking chance, boys. There's a chance. There's a chance. Should have done this earlier. Um, so, ideally, we need to beat Travis, who has 1,400. I can call Scrim now. 1,010. I can call Greenthaler. I literally want Greenthaler to show up. Oh, my God. Do I have to call this? 283. Uh, I think I have to call this. I call this and I'm on 1,000 big blinds. I have to call this, right? I, I don't think I can wait any longer. Wait, wait, how much is he on if I call? 600 or something. Wow, he's just going for it. Ah, oh, we're running it twice. No. Somehow drill this one. Oh my God, I can't believe I got run it twice on. Oh my God, no nine. No nine or king. Oh my God, have I done it? Have I done it? Oh my God. <gasps> Travis is going to be so tilted. If I was scrim, I'd be crying. I'd be, I'd be so tilted. I'd be like, how can you run that good weasel? You piece of shit. All right, I'm closing this table and going on this one. I've got a seat on this and I need to not wait for the big blind. I've got a seat on the other table, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be over in like one minute. So swapping tables, I'm pretty sure it's allowed and it should be over. It's four o'clock, so it's over, right? Yeah, it's over. So we got first. <laughs> we came first, man. Oh my God, that is insane. I would imagine this hand won't count anyway. Um, because it's afterwards, I don't know. Oh, I need 10 2 not to win just in case. Boom. Right, it is without a doubt over, and we are without a doubt the winner. Oh my god, that was insane, man. That was fucking insane. Oh my god, guys, if I win this package, clip that hand, send it to me every time I open my fucking mouth about running bad. But only if I win the package, do you understand? So I'm going to be leader of the pack. Dmax is going to be in second. Travis is going to be in third overall, going into the final round. And it's 48 hours. So it's from 4 o'clock UK time from Saturday until 4 o'clock UK time on Monday. So it's going to be 48 hours to win as many on-demand tournaments as you possibly can. Why did I call that off? It made sense to call it off. If you're wondering why I called it off, Dmax had 900 big blinds. Travis had 1,400 big blinds. If I call that, if I lose this six minutes left of the challenge if i lose i'm still sat in second if i lose that all in if i win that all in i'm first by 200 big blinds it's the only thing i can do so after last minute clutching the win in the rat hole challenge i ended up going into the third challenge in first place but in this challenge the amount of points you could win were uncapped so it meant that anybody even if they had zero points throughout the challenge through the first two challenges they could still win so the final challenge was as follows. You had 48 hours to win as many on-demand tournaments as possible. So on-demand tournaments and ACR are MTTs that start when a certain amount of people register just like a sit and go, but then go into late registration once it started. So in some of them, for example, eight people would register and then the tournament would start, but then late reg carries on for another 30 minutes or so. So you can end up with, let's say up to hundred runners. So for every on-demand first place and only first place, you would get 10 points. So if you came second, Second, you get to zero. So the rules were it could be any stakes in any format, including PLO8, which might be my new favorite game. Have you just got quads, lower grass? Did you just hit quads against me? You fucking little shit bag. Imagine that. I've got quads. Yeah, I've got fucking ace high. Yeah, yeah. You okay? You win half the pot. What a shit idea for a game. Oh, I've got the absolute stone nuts. I've got quads. You can't win. Well, actually, I've got fucking four high, so I, I win half the pot. We've got a flush. 
fucking, like, they sharp heart. They're such a shit game. It's so shit. I've got, like, the fucking flush. They get a quarter of the pot. Eight. Fuck off. You split the pot three. What a shit game. The fucking children. PLO is a fucking post-flop game, and PLO 8 makes it pre-flop. Why would you want that? And then you chop the pot. It's like, oh, well, you, you know, we'll make it pre-flop, but then we, you, you win half the pot most of the fucking time. So it just reduces the variance. It's a shit game. All the variance, none of the fun. Absolute trash games. That's why they don't run, because nobody plays them because they're fucking awful games. It's literally a game for pensioners. That has to be why the average VPIP's like 15%. People ask, do I like Omaha? Yeah, I like PLO. I'm not PLO 8. PLO 8 can fuck off. Look at this. Ace, Ace, King 5, Ace, 5, 5, 3. Dan. How the fuck do I get scooped? He's got fucking one out. He's got fucking one out for the high. So fucking dumb. What a fucking shit game, honestly. I don't really give a shit. I'll, I'll fucking get spaghetti everywhere. Look at this. Ace, Ace, King 10. And it's not even a good hand. What a fucking shit nonce game this is. Ace, Ace, King 10. Ace, King of Diamonds. Not even a good hand. Fuck off, lower graphs. Can't believe you invented this game. What a dick. The games had to start within the 24-hour time frame. They all had to be streamed and any wins had to be clipped. But there had to be a minimum of 10 unique runners, i.e. not re-entries, for them to count. Although most of these tournaments had way over 10 runners anyway. So you can see from the layout, I was playing loads of tables. I was probably averaging maybe 10 or 11 tables. I had up to 18 tables at one point in the challenge. So obviously, I can't manage to get everything in this video. I streamed for, I think, 42 hours over the two days. But if anyone's interested, the VODs are still up on Switch. And it was a big sweat for the end, so I'd recommend watching the last couple of hours if you want to go back and see it. So here are some of the highlights of the wins and some funny moments and a little bit of panic towards the end. Let's go. Oh my god. Come on, somehow just win this. Just win it here. I don't know what equities are. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Oh. oh my god. There's never been a PLO game that has been so fucking tense than that. That is it. That is the one. Oh my god, man. This guy has no idea what he's playing for. Guy just thinks he like I'm playing for fucking $40 or something. Guy has no idea what I'm fucking going through. <laughs> Which is so obscene. I think you got to put in these last 24 hours straight through. Well, thank you very much, Captain. Fucking obvious. That's big. Travis just lost another heads up. That is fucking great news. That's the best thing I've had all fucking day. Come on. There's so much at stake. It's so horrible. This guy thinks he's playing for like $20 or something. Like, this guy is like fucking just... It's so dumb. It's actually so dumb. This guy is playing for $30. He doesn't give a fuck. He's just like, well, I'm all in, aren't I? And I'm like, well, no. <laughs> like, it's not $30. <laughs> I hate it. I fucking hate it. Literally, ACR really said, fuck your mental health. He's queen. Up two. Do I want to call here against a whale? This is nasty. Like this and then shove river. How have you got queens? How the fuck have you got queens? What the fuck is that? There's coolers and then there's that. I thought he might do this. Queen eight, we're gonna have to call. No, queen or an eight. Please. Oh my god, that was it. That was just it. Uh, it's just no six or seven and it's over. Oh my god, and then kings were two big lines. Mate, what the fuck, man. Big, big pot with 10 left. There's ace king up here. Oh, ace for a king would be insane. No, uh, no, none of this. I, kn I knew it, I knew it, I knew it because it was a big one and I said king. Knew it, fucking knew it, that's the side as well. That is just literally all the chips and we're down to eight. It's literally just, might as well be every single fucking chip. No, that's a fucking, no, 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 that's fucking massive. That is so big, man. For the chip lead and Travis is on the final table. If I'm going to lose like this, it's just actually not okay. To get two outed in spots like that, I, I, I'm the massive chip leader and we go three-handed. Nah, come on, man. Shit like that. Like, it's worth fucking 100k, man. Uh, nines we're calling here against fours. A four. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's so sick. 
to outrun the... Oh my God, that's actually so disgusting. So Travis was our main competitor after the first 12 hours or so. He'd got a similar amount of wins to myself, possibly one or two more. He decided his best bet was to stay awake the entire 48 hours. So I slept maybe four or five hours the first night and then proceeded to stream for 30 hours straight. But I've got to say, I've got such a huge amount of respect for Travis for putting me to the fucking test. There was a point when I was maybe six wins ahead of him with not that long to go, maybe like 20 hours to go. And he still didn't give up, kept regging, and he managed to cut the deficit to only about three wins. So honestly, I think Travis was probably more deserving of it than me. I just ran better. Rakim says it might be, it might be done, but like, are you sure? <laughs> boys, are you fucking sure? Are you sure, boys? Hello? Are you all fucking sure? Can you show me the figures? Can you show me the mathematics? Did we do it though? Guys, is it over or not? <laughs> like, I don't fucking know. Cooking, it's telling me it is. Boys, is it done? Is it now been? Have I actually done it? Oh my God. Just won a 100k packet. 100k? It, nah, I don't believe it. I don't. It's literally unbelievable to the point that I, I cannot believe it. I cannot. I refuse. I just want a 100k package. I'm typing that out. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? A hundred bags. Six figure Mondays. Six figure Mondays. First of all, I would like to say thank you. And it probably doesn't sound as sincere as I would like it to sound, but I can't tell you how good it is. Yeah, I feel like I might cry because I'm so tired. So I can't tell you how good it is to have people support you when you're playing for something like that. When you see the chat go and when you just like, when you know everyone is legitimately rooting for you, it's fucking wild. It adds a whole new dynamic where it's like, it almost becomes more important than like the money or the package itself completely just fucking overwhelming is is the only word that i can i can use to describe it overwhelming like what do i do i sit here and fucking moan that i don't get good cards or like that everyone else is a moron or like the parents are brother and sister and i do that day in day out and you guys support it for some unknown reason it's it's you all need your fucking heads checking but i can't tell you how good it feels man honestly like knowing that you guys are supporting it's unreal call mom on stream should I do it? Should I call should I call me mum? <laughs> you need a number, you little shit. Hello, mother. How are you? I've just been playing poker and I've just won a package to Vietnam. And it's oh, worth God. it's worth a hundred thousand dollars. Wow. Yeah, so it's gonna be basically eighty thousand pounds worth of poker buy-ins. Oh, um, yeah, so it's gonna be uh big boy big boy stakes. Yeah, yeah. Very, very good. Um, so you're on stream, so say hello to the stream. Hello, stream. There you go, that is my mum. <laughs> Thanks, mum. <laughs> Speak to you soon. I'll call I'll call you well, I've been awake for thirty hours, so I'm gonna go to bed. Um but I'll give you a call maybe tomorrow morning or something. Speak to you soon. Bye bye. She says, Tell the stream I'm very proud of my boy. <laughs> Hi guys. I did it. I won a 100k package. I won a $100,000 package. What do you mean? Yeah, so it's kind of sunk in a bit now. <laughs> I remember the good old days. You were playing 55 cent on demand. Now he's playing 20k MTTs. So let's talk about what the package is and what I plan to play if I get the chance. So this is the schedule It starts from March and then it goes to short deck, which obviously we're not playing. So I'm there from the, I'll be there from the last day in February until the 11th. So I can play up to 100k worth of these. The plan would be to play Super Millions Live, 25k buy-in, 800 Mystery Bounty because fucking slurp, obviously. The 750k Hold'em and then the 25k Turbo. So if I was to make day two with the Mystery Bounty and couldn't play the 700, then I would probably flick into the 850k instead of these two tournaments if I was to make day two and get a deep run in the Mystery Bounty. So that'll be subject to change. And again, it depends on, you know, if, if the total is 100k exactly, then we're looking at something like these four instead of like the 30k and the 25k. But we'll just have to see when we get there what the deal is. But yeah, look at these fucking buy-ins. Like when I was adding these up to figure out what I was going to play, that's kind of where it hit me. Like it's, you know, 100k package. I keep saying it and I see, I see 100k. But when I see the individual tournaments and the buy-in, guys, the smallest buy-in is bigger than my biggest ever cash. <laughs> like...
Do you realize how fucked that is? Like how fucking actually wild that is. And so when I was adding these buy-ins up to 100K, that's when it hit me and I was like, oh my fucking God, I'm going to be playing in 25Ks. Like, I'm going to be playing in 25Ks, man. Like, so when you're saying you're a bit nervous, like, come on, how can you not be fucking nervous? Realized the other day, I've still, <laughs> how funny is that? Never had a five figure cash, but I get a six figure package. Can you imagine if I just skip five figures and, and drill six or seven? <laughs> like, can you imagine? <gasps> told my wife and she wasn't bothered. I told my mom she didn't sound bothered. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to be fucking, it's going to be huge, man. It's going to be absolutely huge. I'll see you guys when I get back. A millionaire. So after 42 hours of streaming and playing nearly 500 on-demand tournaments, here are the final standings. I have to give a shout out to Jimmy, one of Travis's mods, who was updating a spreadsheet with how many wins each Stormer had throughout the challenge and making it available to all of us. And for producing this as well, a final results breakdown showing the stats of Travis and myself head to head. And so there you have it, guys. That's how I won a $100,000 package on ACR. So I'll leave the schedule for the series in the description below. I'll be updating on Instagram wherever I can. So if you're not already following me on there, guys, please make sure you go and follow. And the moment you've all been waiting for, the giveaway. So I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to give away a minimum of 10% of any caches. So that's $10,000 in equity that I'm going to be giving away. I'll be giving the Red Spades, which is anyone that's been subscribed on Twitch for 24 months or more and the mods a very juicy piece the people that have been the vips or the people that have been in the stream the longest for example mel and trom they'll be getting a small bit of action themselves but yeah if we get any caches guys we're going to be doing some giveaways live on twitch so make sure you follow in on twitch and please make sure you subscribed here on youtube if you haven't done so already please give the video a thumbs up and hopefully we'll come back with lots of money to give away